All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I had a comment here, a comment about using object removal to get rid of this plant on the last video that we did. And I gave it a shot. So let me show you the method. You're still gonna have to have a node and a power window. So I'm gonna grab that pen tool just like we did last time. And the problem I was running into is whenever I had this going off the screen to track it, it would build a clean plate and glitch out and not have a complete clean plate unlike this method where you use a back plate. Now we have that, let's go ahead and track it. So right here where it goes up above the edge of the frame where my mouse cursor is, it kept drawing like blank space in the clean plate on the object removal tool. Whereas I feel like the back plate zoomed in with the sky is just a better way to go. But I thought I'd give it a shot because uh, the object tool is a good idea to try. Sometimes you have to experiment and sometimes one tool doesn't always fit. All right, so now that that's tracked, we'll make a serial node again with option S and we'll feed it with the key here. So now you can see we've got that cut out. I'll drop the object removal on that node and we'll show the mask overlay so you can see where it's trying to track. And somewhere along the lines, it just started to fall apart right along the edge. So I'll leave it as is. We're gonna keep it on boundary. I'll do scene analysis and it'll go through and track. I wish object tool would just let you trace it out on the same node without feeding it and tracking it because it's kind of like a double track. This one takes a lot longer. It's doing more calculations, but still. All right, so that's tracked. And let's go ahead and hit build clean plate on this. And we'll take show mask overlay off. Sometimes it takes a second. This is kind of a longer shot. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And I'll just play through. Okay, see how we're getting this little gray area at the top, little artifacting where the plate's not actually built. So we'd have to hit build clean plate again, which I tried and it fixed it for that part, but I couldn't get it to stake all the way through the shot. I kind of jumped through frame by frame looking for artifacts or where it didn't build the plate properly. We're getting horrible playback right now, but let's go ahead and try to jog through a little more, look for another problem spot. Okay, there's another one and it dips down quite a bit. I guess there's no data up past the frame. So you might have to find the lowest point where the camera dips down and maybe start your clean plate there. That could be an idea. Maybe we'll try this. This looks like it might be the lowest point. So I'll build one more clean plate and let's just see for kicks. Because it's looking whatever's around your window is where it's getting the data from to sort of blend the pixels. So that might be the solution to that. I don't mind doing it the way I did it before with the back plate. See, we still got more. So let me show you how I, I did it last time. Instead of doing this object removal, we already have this tracked and we just don't have the key feeding out. So if we feed the key and then we can invert it. So go back to the power window and invert. Now it's black, but that's because we have nothing behind it on the edit page. On the edit page, I took that same clip and just zoomed in. And now if we activate it, we got this clean plate. Well, you can see the noise uh, just because I don't have a soft edge on the key. But you already saw that in my other example. Jump back over to the color page, grab the window, maybe soften it out a little bit. And that's a little too much because now it's exposing part of that underlay might have to play with like where this is sitting plus as you can see this back plate is like right next to this so let's go back over to here and you can see top plate is here back plate is this so let's slide that out of the way and maybe get a little more cloud in there i don't want to go too far because we got tree on the left here but that gives us a little more real estate might actually bring this back to the other side. Maybe here would be good. Let's try that. Now we'll go back to the color page, invert the key again, which will make that disappear. And I'll zoom in. All right, you could still see that there. I would go soft again, like we did last time. So maybe that'll hide it a little bit better. Let's try. That looks a little more believable. Now we got that plant coming in on the left. 
However right, you get it. That's how we did it last time. And I think that result was easier. I'll keep experimenting with the object removal tool, but that was a good, uh, good try. And I would have normally gone and tried that tool too, if I didn't know to do it the other way with the back plate. So it's kind of a follow-up video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.